This is how you play the 1, 3, 6, 4, 2, 5, 7, 1 chord progression. Parallel and bass line. In B major. <laughs> Alright, so like any of our chord progressions that we've been playing, we're going to start in the first inversion. So if you played that chord correctly, B major, first inversion, is D sharp on bottom, F sharp, and B on top. And since this is a first inversion chord, your right hand is using its two finger in the middle. As we go from chord to chord, we're going to be using the Roman numerals to figure out what our new root is going to be. So for example, if I say the three chord in B major, the third note is D sharp, so we'll build a chord on D sharp. However, since we're in B major, we need to use the black keys that exist in B major. Alright, let's play that first chord again. B major first inversion. To get to our three chord, the third note is D sharp, so we need a D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. So bottom two notes can stay the same, top note moves down to A sharp. Since we're in root position, right hand's going to use three in the middle. Play that three chord. D sharp minor. Now to get to our sixth chord, the sixth note is G sharp, so we need a G sharp, a B, and a D sharp. We already have a D sharp at the bottom, so that stays the same. And then the top two notes just need to move up. So F sharp moves to G sharp, A sharp moves to B. And since this is a second inversion chord, left hand is now using two in the middle. Play that sixth chord. Now to get to our four, the fourth note is E, so we need an E, a G sharp, and a B. We already have a G sharp and a B up top, so those stay the same. To get to our E, D sharp bottom note just moves up to E. And since we're in root position, left hand is going to use its three in the middle. Play that E major chord. Now to get to our two, second note is C sharp, so we need a C sharp, an E, and a G sharp. We already have an E sharp and a G sharp at the bottom, so those stay the same. And to get our C sharp, take the top note, move up a step to C sharp. And since this is a first inversion, right hand will use two in the middle. Play that two chord, C sharp minor. All right. Almost done for the 5 7 chord. Our fifth note is F sharp. And to make that a seventh chord, we need an F sharp, an A sharp, a C sharp, and then an E. So we already have an E, a C sharp. We don't have an A sharp, we don't have an F sharp. I'm going to leave one of those notes out and I'll put in the F sharp. So we'll take that G sharp, that middle note, move it down a step. And it's perfectly okay to leave a note out of the 5-7 chord, but if you wanted to add the A sharp, you could, but I'm not going to. And that's your F sharp 7 chord. Play that crunchy chord. All right, and then to get back to your one chord, you need B, D sharp, F sharp. We already have an F sharp. So our outside notes will just move down a step. E down to D sharp, C sharp down to B. And since this is first inversion, left hand uses three in the middle. And play that chord. All right, so let's go through that, saying how each chord is going to move. So we'll start with the one chord. Play through this slowly with me. To get to our three, our top note moves down. To get to our six, our top two notes move up. To get to our four, our bottom note moves up. To get to our two, our top note moves up. And we switch fingers in the right hand for that first inversion. To get to our five, seven, that middle note moves down. And to get back to one, our outside notes move down, and we switch to three in the left hand. All right, let's see our moves. One, 
two, three, four. Top down, top two up, bottom up, top up, middle down, outside down. Alright, I'm going to get the metronome set up so we can see how exam ready we are. Practice that wrist motion, the drop lifts that you'll need to move from chord to chord. Move that to 60 because that's the minimum you can do on the exam. A one, two, ready, go. All right, now to do the bass line. Your right hand is going to do the exact same thing it's been doing. Your left hand is going to be doing something far simpler. Go ahead and place it in a B major five finger pattern. The only move you're going to need, so practice it now, is your one finger is going to step up to the sixth note. That's the only move. All right. Now what your left hand's going to do is just go ahead and play the name of the chord or the Roman numeral. So when we say one, left hand's gonna play the first note of the scale, while the right hand plays the one chord. When we say three, left hand's gonna play the third note of the scale. When we say six, the left hand then takes its one finger and moves up to the six, and so on all of the chords. So, let's say our Roman numerals. One, two, saying Roman numerals for left hand. One, three, move the thumb, six, four, thumb can go back now, two, five, seven, Now let's go through that again, and this time, let's take an even more direct way and say the names of the chords. So when we're playing the one chord, well that's B major. So left hand's gonna play a B. When we go to our three chord, that's D sharp minor. So left hand's gonna play a D sharp. <laughs> when we play the sixth chord, that's a G sharp minor. So left hand takes its thumb, moves it to G sharp. This is more direct because you're literally telling yourself with every chord name what your left hand's going to play. Let's start saying the chord names. One, two, three, four. B, D sharp minor, G sharp minor, E major, you can move that thumb back, C sharp minor, F sharp seven, This also helps train your ear to hear those cadences as well. All right, I'm going to set the metronome for 60 again. Oh, it's already set. And let's see how exam ready we are. One, two, three. how it shows up in music. It shows up more like a bass line. So you can take that and improvise. <laughs>